I guess the chain of command letter that was sent out um, did uh, June 23rd, 2005, um, to all the books of police communication, uh, and communications employees, reference chain of command. As we all know, the police department is a paramilitary organization, and such has paramilitary structure. Um, and it goes on to say uh, there's a chain of command. Uh, the police commission is situated at the top of the chain of command and therefore any employee uh, to have access to the commission must utilize the chain of command to reach the commission. Um, it goes on, therefore effective immediately all employees of the Hooks Police Department will follow the chain of command as outlined in the department AOMs, which also governs employees' access to the commission. Uh, and then there's a nice note, uh, the last one sentence says, employees are encouraged to ask any member of the command staff for clarification of how the chain of command works. So, uh, when I look at this, I think we, I, I'm going to make a motion that we uh, rescind this um, because what happens is if an employee, a department employee, wants to make a complaint um, they would have to go up the chain of command and it could get stopped or blocked at any time as it goes up that chain of command. It's my firm belief that in this particular instance with the police commission that any employee should have access to the police commission in regards to a complaint, uh, whether it be from the chief on down. Uh, it's, it can be problematic for the employee, whether it's a police officer or somebody working in communications or any other civilian employee that if they were to have a problem with the top of the uh, uh, command staff within the department, not counting the police commissioners, that um, they wouldn't be able to go forward. Uh, having said that, if a complaint were to come into the commission, the commission would look at it and uh, properly put it in the right direction. But by having this as an example, and, and uh, if a person is in the uh, in patrol or if a person is working uh, as a sergeant and they have a problem with uh, the highest officer in the department, where do they go? How does that go up through the chain of command? The way that works now is um Again, I can't, this is obviously three commissioners that signed this letter, drafted and signed it in 2005. But if an officer, an officer, if they don't have to tell their supervisor what the issue is, they just make the request to talk to the next level. Right. Now, if that request is denied, then that employee has the right to skip that level and ultimately go to the commission. So this letter was never meant and is, and is not followed that employees can be blocked. But, but the way it's written and the command that's given, if, for instance, I'm sorry? He has I can, I can show it. Is that in our package yet? No. No. Oh. no. I apologize, Commissioner Roy. I probably should have said that. Um, there was a carryover from, from this uh, last one. If, for instance, an employee wants to go up and make a complaint against the captain, and nobody in particular, just a captain, I'm using the rank, I'm being very specific, or for that matter, the chief of police. If they wanted to make a complaint, they would have to go, following this SOP, they would have to go to the next highest chain of command, so they would go to a sergeant, right? And if they want to make a complaint about uh, a captain or the chief, goes to the sergeant, and if the sergeant takes that complaint and doesn't move it forward, where does that... Well, they can't not move it forward. Number one, the employee doesn't have to tell that rank what it's about. And number two, they can't. They don't move it forward, then, then that employee jumps up and says, that was not allowed to move forward, and that blockage will be disciplined. When you say the employee doesn't have to tell them what it's about, how can they resolve it if they're not told what it's about? Well, if it's not about them, if it's about them, then obviously, as, as we're talking about, we don't want them talking to them. 
but it also might be a, an issue that's further up the chain, so it's just getting permission to move up the chain. The permission can't be blocked of moving up the chain. Okay, but if I understood what you said was if a patrolman had a problem with the chief of police and the patrolman reports that to his sergeant and says, I'm not going to tell you what it's about, but I have an issue with the chief of police who is at the highest at the chain of command within the department, excluding the commissioners, that sergeant doesn't move forward with that. No, they, they won't move forward with the details, but they will they will move that employee to their to the next level, which will be the lieutenant in this case. Okay. The employee will say the same thing to the lieutenant, the lieutenant will move it to the captain. Um, and at that point what will happen is it'll be moved to the chief who has the obligation to have that employee talk to you people. If that's not the case, the employee has the obligation and the right to come in and say to you people, I had a complaint about the chief and I was blocked from bringing it to you. And then you will then still get the complaint and then you will have an issue with the chief as far as having blocked it. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to ask you to I'd appreciate it if the commission would look into this grievance. Um, from what I understand, it was brought forward, it was denied by the chief. The next process should be going to the commission. Uh, that, that was forwarded through the chief. It was supposed to go on to the commission. I'm not sure that it's reached you. That was done on July 31st, with the second memorandum, asking that the um, chief forward that grievance to you or to the commission. I, I have copies I could give them to you tonight. It, they're concerned about their own safety. I, I don't think it should wait another month. I'm concerned when I read it. And if they took the time to bring this forward, obviously they're concerned. And I think it needs to be looked at immediately. So I appreciate if you would look at it. Thank you.